Hey guys, happy Monday. Becky Tim's live here for the drive at five. And today I'm going to shoot a very quick video about where do I start. And I'm going to share with you the journey of where I started with e-commerce. And so if you look, have you ever heard the saying, the checks in the mail? Well, I actually have, I'm going to show you afterwards. I have this big long box. It's like I don't know, maybe six feet long, and it's a FedEx box, and literally my check came to me in the mail. So um, actually, Tom mailed it to me. So Tom, thanks for mailing me my extra long check, and I've been blessed to have recognition on three stages with three different big checks, and so I wanted to share them with you today. Not to brag, but to impress upon you that if this little girl from North South Carolina with one stoplight can do the selling on Amazon, you can sell on Amazon too. So I talked to a lady today and she said, um, I said, have you sold on Amazon before? She's like, no, I'm brand new. Where do I start? And I thought about it. If I were brand new, where would I start? And so before I say that, I'll have to say the best time to start a business is right now, like today. And I know a lot of people say, well, Becky, I should have started a business, you know, last year where there's an ancient proverb that says, um, or Chinese proverb that says, you know, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is right now, today. And so that's what I want to tell you about starting a business too, right now, today, because it's the best time and there's low risk because literally all you need to do is go over to amazon.com and if I had to start today, this is what I would tell you to do. I would start by selling a physical product. You know, 18 years ago, I started by selling a physical product on eBay. Today, I would start by selling a physical product on Amazon and eBay would be my second choice because eBay is the second biggest marketplace compared to Amazon. So I would go over to Amazon, I would sign up for an account and you would say, well, you know, is it a professional account or an individual account? I don't care. Just sign up for an account. If you can afford the $40 to get a professional account, definitely do that because you're going to get some bells and whistles and reports and FBA and just some great things, but you don't need it. So let me just preface it by saying that you don't need it, but spend $40 get a professional account and a cell phone and download the Amazon seller app and then literally just walk around your house, scan books. Well, my books are over there. You can't see them, but scan books, scan anything laying around your house that has a UPC code. And that's exactly what I did four years ago. And so not only did I get online and start scanning books, but I had these books right here. And I have lots of them over there in that closet as well. But I kept notes. And I still, you can see, I still take pages of notes, handwritten notes. I'm old-fashioned. Handwritten notes. And repetition is the mother of all skills. So the more you do something, the more you do something, the more you do something, the more you're going to learn and remember it. So um, I was just learning all of these items for myself. I was just busy over here. You know, I'm very goal oriented. So I have, I've documented my entire journey, not knowing why I was documenting my journey when I was doing it, but now I know. So it's because I've inspired thousands of people to do the exact same thing. So guys take screenshots, take pictures, you know, if you're out shopping, take pictures of yourself, self shopping. I hope you won't be shopping for a long time because you know, if you take you out of that shopping equation, your business is kind of dead. And so I, what I want you to do is to have a business that will keep on working without you going out scanning or without you copying and pasting. And that's what I do with private label. But I wanted to share with you. So after I started learning and learning and learning, I'm going to turn my screen up here. This first check up at the top, um, this was my 2014, I got it in January, but it was my 2014, um, it was sales, it was sales and my affiliate income. So 
it's not like profit or anything. So I don't want you to say that it's profit because it's not, but it was sales. But that is a group that's called Nina to Prosperity. And I was blessed to be a part of that group. And I just went in and literally just shared knowledge um, with what I was learning, what was working, what wasn't working. And guys, I lost seven cents, seven cents on my very first sale. But I mean, I could have had a pity party and only Ben and Jerry would have showed up. But no, what did I do? I kept learning and learning and learning. And then at the very first conference for DS Domination, which is where I started, this is the check that's behind me right here for $157,276.78. That's the company that I was truly blessed with when I found a Facebook ad, just a Facebook ad that says, Hold on. Was that the UPS man? Yeah. Awesome. We got UPS. What is this? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, we got a gift from the UPS man. So anyway, um, that was, DS Domination was a company that I was blessed with when I first found the Facebook ad on how to sell online. And so I'm super um, grateful. I will be forever grateful for that company and all the training that I learned. Well, DS Domination has a sister company. Let's see, it's this way, called Infinia, and then, so, okay, let me, funny story. So with this first check up here, I was in Atlanta, Georgia, when I got presented that. It was a total surprise. Um, I'll, I'll have to tell you a story about that. Because I'm a Toastmaster, um, when I was, when I was um, first starting with e-commerce, I was ignorant on fire, guys. I remember going into the Unit of Prosperity Facebook group, and I said, I wrote this whole Toastmaster speech on receiving an award. Now, this was a year prior, so this was like in January of 2014. But I was so excited, and I knew that this was a way that so many people could make money without recruiting, without having home parties, and I knew it was the answer to so many people's prayers to do this. So I, um, I just got in that group and started sharing knowledge and sharing knowledge. But I, my son and his friends, so... I think there were like five little boys, ages maybe 8 to 12 at that time. They were downstairs, and they were videotaping me, and I did a, a, um, a Toastmaster speech on accepting an award. Now, I made up the entire thing because I was, I mean, I said I was going to be the number one affiliate earner. I had zero marketing experience online. Um, of course, I thank my sponsors, and I thank Reginald, and just everyone for all their support, just like you're supposed to do when you accept a speech. Well, anyway, when I got this award um, for the UOP Member of the Year, I was completely shocked. I got like a crown and a sash, and I was sitting at the back of the room, and I wasn't dressed for it, and it was just, if I would have just known, it would have been better, but that's okay. It was, it was great, and so when I received the award, they were like, um, speech, speech, and I remember, literally, I remember, so when I did my speech, I think it was like five to seven minutes, so as I was accepting this award, I remember everybody sat down for me to give a speech, and I can't even remember what I said, but like within 30 seconds, everybody stood back up, and they were clapping again, and I was like, oh, I totally blew my speech, but I, I didn't have it planned, so if I would have known, I would have had a better real speech to say, but anyway, that um, both of those speeches are on YouTube somewhere, so if you're not friends with me over on YouTube, you can go over to YouTube and hear about my journey there. So then that 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 first check, the little check, I um, actually carried on, the, uh, um, no, I didn't carry. A friend of mine um, came from, drove to Atlanta, so she drove it home for me because she lived here in the small town that I live in. Well, the second check was in Las Vegas, this DS domination check. And um, this was in like May of 2015. I was on stage. I was telling my story. Yes, you were there. I was telling my story about how I found one product and it had profited $35,000 in a month and yada, yada, yada. So this was this big, long check. And so I, didn't, I was in Vegas and I didn't have any way to drive that back to South Carolina. So I had to like shimmy this big check. Um, and then, of course, everybody was staring at me, and I was like, oh, gosh. So I got the check home, but then this, this second check, no, actually, I take that back. I did not bring this one home. This check was actually mailed to me 
um, in this FedEx box down here. You can see there it says it's, a, it's about the same length as the check. And it says the check's in the mail. And so my friend Tom mailed it to me so that I would have it. So then when I went to the next event, which is this check, um, it, it, it folds up. So this is the one I actually carried home on the airplane, but still people were like staring at me and everything because I had it all folded up. So I took all these checks out because I just moved upstairs in this office and I'm not going to um, keep them behind me or anything, but I, I do want to recycle them. Everyone's like, well, you need to keep them. And they were out in the garage in the, um, in the FedEx box. So I'm, I was just going to do this and just tell about my journey and say, you know, if I had to start over, what would I do? And I would definitely start with selling e-commerce products on Amazon, a physical product. You can go get a book. You can go to Goodwill, you know, and, and guys, I don't want to hear excuses because first, I don't have time for excuses. I have met people in this industry that have, so he, I met one couple, he and his wife sold their plasma to start a business and makes over a hundred thousand dollars a month in sales right now today, consecutively every month. If there's a will, there's a way. And so I, you know, maybe you don't want a private label. I talked to another lady today. I'm like, hey, you are brand new. I do not recommend private labeling for you. I do recommend private labeling once you learn how to do this, once you get this under your belt. And I love the private label because it's truly a hands-off experience for me. Once you find that initial product, you're not going to find it overnight. It's not going to just fall in your lap like a silver bullet. No, no, no. But you only need just one because if I can teach you how to find one product worth $50 per day, that's an extra $1,500 per month. And most families, um, even with, you know, an extra $500 a month would keep them from having a, you know, a, um, bankruptcy. I'm shipping Amazon orders right now. That is totally awesome. I'm so excited. You know, um, although these checks look great and I'm super proud of them and they're part of my journey and my story, what makes me more excited is the person that posts somewhere on the internet, hey, I just made my first sale today. Hey, I'm shipping products to Amazon. Hey, I got my first um, deposit from Amazon. Hey, I made an eBay sale. Hey, I sold on Etsy today amazing those are the stories that really fire me up those are the ones that I love 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 to read in my my um, Facebook box every morning every night before I go to bed so that's what I wanted to share with you today if I had to start all over with e-commerce I would go to makemoneywithbecky.com it shows the exact way that you can get started selling on Amazon today actually um, right now you can go over there and pay, and pay just $3 and you will get your own personal agent that will walk with you for the first three days. Any questions you have, of course, you can call me, but you have access to them 24-7 as well. And, and you can't beat that because when I started four years ago, there was none of that at all, like a zero, none of that. So I really, really like that program. I like that that's how you can start doing it. Miranda says, I'm in four digits now. Whoop, whoop, Miranda, you keep going. You're going to be in five, six, and seven digits, um, which reminds me, I have, a pri I have a private group. It's called Amazon Queen's Secrets with ZZZ at the end, meaning you can make money in your sleep. And I'll post things over there. And one of the, one of the items that I posted, um, one of the items that I posted was about you know, out with pumpkin spice and in with peppermint. And Miranda was the only person that cued in. Everybody else thought I was talking about winter and it being cold. But no, what I'm talking about is, guys, everything pumpkin spice sales, everything peppermint sales. And so especially right now, it's in fourth quarter. So just um, I, I leave a lot of hints around the Internet. Some people pick up on them really quickly. Some don't. Some might come out and tell you. But, guys, there's so much money to be made, and I know it's not all about money, and I'm not trying to say it's all about money, but I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear how fast you're out there overcoming your excuses, and if money is what's going to solve your problems, then go for it, go for it. Um, Angela says, look at my third check. 
So this is the third one. This is when um, Infinii and DS Domination combined. This was the, the um, DS Domination 2 event. And this one was $207,529.57. And I might um, hang up oops, on the wall one time just to take my picture in front of them and then I'm going to recycle them. But they, they're part of my journey. I always have this video um, to share with everyone. I'll, let's see if I can do it this way again. There's that one. It's kind of hard. That one. And then the one on the floor. That one. Wait. There we go. Can you see them all? I can't. I kind of like this monitor. You can kind of jack it up how you want to. There we go. There they are. Can you see? Oh, well. You get the picture. Okay, guys. Um, that's what I wanted to share today. I hope you all have... A very happy Monday. I am off to spend some time with my Carson, and I hope you all have an amazing Monday. See you tomorrow on the Drive at Five. Bye.